fiction arrangements for students I studying apologise to the Honourable Minister the system to time support has, student wellbeing. Um, Kia ora. Elect. Thank you. I call Sarah Dowie. Oh, thank you, Madam Speaker. Well, I rise to take a very short call in support of this education, tertiary education and other matters amendment bill, and in support because, of course, this is a national party bill. And it was interesting that the previous speaker paid um, praise to the current minister and associate minister for shepherding this bill through the House. But, of course, this was a, an honourable Paul Goldsmith um, bill from the national party. And it reflects the respect that this side of the House has for tertiary education and, in particular, international education, not just because uh, the sector is the fourth largest export industry, um, generating $4.28 uh, billion per annum, but also because of the role that tertiary and international education play in regional development, in diversifying communities and adding to the vibrancy of provincial cities, and that's certainly the case in Invercargill in Southland. So what the Honourable Paul Goldsmith wanted to do was to modernise the framework governing uh, tertiary institutions um, and PTEs. He wanted to make uh, the framework fit for purpose for the 21st century to allow institutions to innovate and provide um, a better system for students to learn in and to gain qualifications that are fit for purpose in today's modern world. So what this bill does is, of course, um, make or uh, create a, an accountability framework for tertiary organisations, ensures consistency across the board, obviously monitors performance of those tertiary um, institutions and introduces a code of conduct uh, for international students that are coming to the country to study and um, puts in place standards that they must adhere to while they are here in New Zealand. Um, as I said before, evolving the system um, to make it better not only for New Zealanders, but also for those international students. So um, this is a good bill. Of course, um, my colleague, the Honourable Louise Upston, talked about one of the changes that the current government, um, the Labour Party, have made with respect to creating an uneven playing field between private providers and public providers relating to the fees structure. That is unacceptable from this side of the House and has resulted in the Honourable Paul Goldsmith's SOP um, to challenge this. Um, so apart from that change that the Labour government have made, um, regardless of Paul Goldsmith's SOP, we do support this bill because it was a National Party initiative and we do need to make uh, tertiary education and the framework of such fit for purpose um, in the 21st century. This is my um, last contribution as the Chair of the Education and Workforce Select Committee. I'd like to finish by thanking the current members and uh, saying that it is a very good committee um, and I wish them all the best moving forward with the uh, work stream that they do have um, in the workforce uh, section but also in the education sector. Madam Speaker. I call Matt Patterson. Uh, Madam Speaker, it's great pleasure.